So first thing is to draw a triangle. Yes? I mean, I don't know how many times, but we recognize, we recognize this as a um, angle side side, right? So we have an issue. This is the ambiguous case. It's not going to be a easy law of sines. Now, remember how I drew that last triangle. I do, you could do like A, B, C, like how I have up there. But my pref preference when doing these problems is to have my angle down here, all right, and then to have my other two side lengths here. That means that would be B, big B, OK? And this would be big C. So remember how I said you can change, like you can change them around, guys. It's OK, right? I prefer when doing these problems, for me to like understand these, I like to visualize this, those diagrams that I drew down. That's why I always like to have this as angle side side because I conceptually make sense of it when it's in this format. OK. Um, so then this is little i. So one way we could do this is we could fi figure out what h is. Yes? Now again, hopefully you guys get this. h is equal to? Yeah, yeah. Right, but we don't have c, right? This isn't c anymore. So this. It's B now, so hopefully you guys, like, you're not going to have to memorize this if you do enough of these problems, but hopefully you guys recognize it's always this side times the sine of the angle. And then, since you guys have calculators, right. So maybe you guys can help me out. 26.777? OK. Now that's my height. Now, again, notice this is shorter than the height. Right? If this is 26 and this is like 24, there's no triangle. Got it? Right. So that's one way. If you guys, like, let's say you're like, hmm, I forget. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Could you also just go with the law of signs? Could we, do we have enough information to create a law of signs? Yes. So we could do 24 divided by the sine of 73. Oops, let's do angle. Let's put the angle on top. Sorry. So I could do the sine of 74, oops, 73. Actually, do I have enough room over here? I'll do it over here. So I have the sine of 73 degrees all over 24 is equal to the sine of B over 28. Now again, I take my unknown, I put that in the numerator. Okay? Now when I go ahead and solve, I basically get the sine of b is equal to 28 times the sine of 73 all over 24. That's why I like having the unknown in the numerator, because I just multiply by 28 on both sides. To solve for b, I now need to use sine inverse. And when you type this into your calculator, somebody tell me what they get. No triangle exists. So there's going to be a domain error. It's going to be on computer. Right? You can't do the law of signs on, not a, on a, something that doesn't exist. Right? Yes? 